Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of a great millstone. Much spread to the brothers of Laban worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Not sure what I'm entitled this lesson, but you see this false prophet, all right, on the screen, Geno Jennings, who has no understanding, and he vehemently comes up against the doctrine of Yahweh Shai. He tries to engraft in all people when the scriptures plainly go against what this guy is saying. It's only for the children of Israel, all right? Before we start this video, real quick, Second Peter chapter 2 and verse 1, But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who probably shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought, bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction, right? You're going to bring upon yourself swift destruction, man. All right? It says, and many, see that? And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. That's right, man. The way of truth is being evil spoken of. And you're going to see this guy, all right? And, and all his foolishness and glory. So let's play the video. Now I want to say to all you Jews and black Hebrew Israelites who always... And that's another thing. We've all plainly let these people know there's no such thing as black. All right? Black is a color. All right? It means void of light. And, you know, this... You see this loud mouth fool? Right. I want to say to all you Jews and black Hebrew Israelites who always write me from around the world, the Bible is written to nobody else but the Jews. Don't you know it's two types of Jews? Get me. Real quick. I'm not going to try and make this video too long. I just want to hit a couple points. Let's go to the book of Psalms. As he said, only written to the Jews where it is, man. Right? This is Psalms 147 and 119. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You see that? He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So what the hell is this guy talking about? Four seconds in, and Lord willing, this will not be long. Nobody else but the Jews. Don't you know it's two types of Jews? That's right. Get me. It's two types of Jews. That's right. That's you got the natural Jew, glory to God, that descended from Abraham. And each tribe is sealed. Out of each tribe, 7,000 is sealed. Or rather, 12,000. And then when all each tribe add up, they come to 144,000. All the direct descendants that come from out of uh, Abraham. You better give me the seventh chapter of the book of Revelation, Revelation. quickly. Yeah. Quick son. Yes. And then I want the first chapter. Real quick is the lineage is from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob's name was Lady changed to Israel. He's the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. All right. This guy. The book of Romans, and let's see how we are a Jew and how we not a Jew. Revelation chapter 7. I want all you black Hebrew Israelites to get this. Amen. I was in England, the black Hebrew Israelites was out there yelling for passage in his head. And here I give them Bible. Amen. And my brother here, I give. Again, there is no such thing as black. All right. We consist of Native Americans, so called Native Americans so-called Hispanics and so-called Negroes, man. You see, that's the that's the um 
the game this guy try and play, man. Yes, he's a Jew, but I'm going to give this is one Jew. I'm going to give him a belly full of Bible. That's right. And if I got any other Jew, if I got any other Jews in here, I'm going to give you a belly full of Bible. That's right. Listen. Revelation chapter 7 will start at verse 4. Listen. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. I heard the number of them that were sealed. And they were sealed in 144,000. The 144,000 are the direct descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. Uh, Not according to the spirit, but according to the flesh. These were Abraham descents. And they were sealed in 144,000. Be quick. Of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Not uh, all the tribes of, of all the tribes of the children of Israel. What is it? Of the tribe of Judah was sealed 12,000. 12, of the tribe of Reuben was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Gad was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Nephilim was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Manassas was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Of the tribe of Simeon was sealed 12,000. Then I want to number that no man can number. Real quick. Of the tribe of Levi was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Zebulun was sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph was sealed 12,000. Yes. Of the tribe of Benjamin was sealed 12,000. Uh -huh. Now we're at verse 9. Now I want you to hear. He just read those that are righteous that are sealed from the descendants of Abraham according to the flesh. That's right. Now you have a number that no man can number. That's right. That's the spiritual church. That's, right. That's the body of Christ. Scriptures don't say that. Scriptures don't say that. Okay. This is only for the Israelites, man. Right, real quick. Let's get Isaiah chapter 45. Okay. And there's new people coming in, and they'll get snared by this fucking devil, man. You know, yeah, you are a black devil, meaning void of light, man. You have no understanding. That's why you're still... Uh, pushing forth this mad madness. <clears throat> this is the book of Isaiah. <clears throat> Chapter 45 and verse 17. It says, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord. Well, hold up. He says this uh, innumerable <laughs> multitude is uh, spiritual Jews. Right <laughs> of other nations, but what does this say? But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. And then also in this video, which I don't have, he he goes into John three sixteen. Like we don't understand what the word world means. All right. But this guy is, is is playing semantics. He's he's uh he's fooling the people with with clever words, man. All right? Let's get something else. Let's go to the book of Amos, chapter three. All right, Amos three and one. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for, for all your iniquities. So the Lord don't know these other nations, man. Why would he give them salvation? The Lord said they are as the dust of the balance. Let's, let's get that. And we're going to get one more. We'll go back to the video. Isaiah chapter 40. <clears throat> and verse 15 behold the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance behold he taketh up the isles as a very little thing you see that so the nations are nothing to you how about you they're nothing to the Lord and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn nor the beast thereof sufficient for a burnt offering is nothing that they can sacrifice for the Lord to be with them man all nations before him 
are as nothing. See that? They are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So all these nations that this guy is trying to refer to, it's not in the scriptures. Real quick, is that Malachi? Yep, Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed, so the Lord don't change. If he say the Israelites are his people and only his people, guess what? That's what it is. All your conjecture, all your well wishing, all that shit don't matter to you, Habashel Shai. Let's go back. That's the spiritual church. That's the. Wrong. Lies. The body of Christ. Listen. Revelation chapter 7 at verse 9. But as After this I beheld. After this. Glory to God, I look. And lo, a great multitude. Great. Two. Which no man could number. What? Which no man can number. Uh well, Israel is known as the sand of the sea. Matter of fact. Mm, mm -mm. Hosea chapter one. All right. Hosea chapter one and verse ten. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered. You see that? <laughs> it's the same story over and over again. It says, And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living power. See that? Plain. You 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 can't you can't reason with this guy, man. You know? Let's go back. Number. What? Which no man can number. Of all nations. Wait, no, 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 no. Just the sinners of Abraham. Of all nations. You see, first. Well, why do it say all nations? Because we were scattered into all nations. Let's prove that. And this guy's really light work. But it's good to go over these things because there's new flock coming in and they're going to be searching out the truth, man. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of heaven, excuse me, one, from one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. And, hey, we seeing that right now. The cross, wood, the stone, the cobblestone. All right, we're, we're serving other religions, man. All right, we, we hewn out broken cisterns that can hold no water. All right, but again, the Lord has scattered us. Let's get one more. James 1 and 1. James the servant of the Most High, and of the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, to the twelve tribes, see that? To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. And that word scattered, I, I went into it before, is diaspora, right? <laughs> or diaspora. Strong's G1290. Diaspora, diaspora. In the Strong's definition, it says dispersion, i.e., especially and concretely, the converted Israelite. See that? The converted, the converted Israelite, it says, resident in Gentiles' countries which are scattered abroad. You see that? Specifically and concretely. See that? The converted Israelite resident in Gentile countries. Let's go into the Bible usage, right? A scattering, dispersion, 
of Israelites dispersed from, excuse me, dispersed among foreign nations. See that? And you see, you got to have Esau add that little part in. But specifically, it's talking about the Israelites, man. All right? That's why it says out of all nations. We're going to get that scripture. First, he atomized what came from Abraham by the East tribe. And that's not all nations. That's the governing body. That's the government. Matter of fact, I think I got a cue. He said Revelation 7, right? This, this is the scripture that they're reading. Revelation 79. And I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before Salakia. Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes and palms in their hands. Yeah, that palms represent victory, right? Well, who needs the victory? The Israelites, man, who've been oppressed. Let's get this word kindred, okay? Strong's G, 54, 43. Strong's G, 54, 43. Fule, Fule, Fule. It says a tribe in the New Testament. All persons descending from. All persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob. See that. A nation, people, so the people, the kindreds that is spoken of in this. Scripture is talking about Israelites, man. Okay? Because we have been scattered throughout all nations. Let's get something else. Right? Revelations 5 and 9. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seers there. Who is worthy? The lamb that was sacrificed. All right? To give us this understanding. You see, to bring us back close to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh It says, and to open the seals thereof, for thou was slain and has redeemed us. See that? That's Pacific. That's uh, showing ownership. And has redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood. Out of, see that, out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. Same story, told a different way. The old and new flow together. But if you are a simple-minded Jake who has no understanding, you're going to twist scriptures to fit the narrative that you want to have. But obviously the Lord didn't say that. Let's continue. First, he atomized what came from Abraham by the East tribe. That's right. And that's not all nations. That's right. eh? Listen. After this, I beheld and lower great multitude, which no man can number, right, of it. all nations. Of everybody. And kindreds. Kindred. And people. And people. And tongues. Wait a minute. That goes to show you not all the Jews, because if it says tongues, tongues. that means tongues spelled. See, no understanding. You go to tongues like it's some kind of point. No, we just proved that we've been scattered into all nations. So we're going to speak different dialect. We're going to speak in different tongues. Tongues. T-O-N-G-U-E-S. That means everybody ain't speaking Hebrew. <laughs> That's right. That was a stupid ass point. That was dumb as hell. Everybody's not of the Hebrew dialect. That's right. This is Bible here. After this, I'll be held. Tongues. tongues. Plural. Tongues. <laughs> different languages. That's right. Uh-huh. After this, I'll be held. So you should have got the word Kendricks <laughs> and explain that. Oh, Lord. Oh, then, Lord, great multitude, which no man can number. And what? Of all nations and kindreds. This is Bible talk, and kindreds. And people. People. And tongues. Tongues. Stood before the Lamb. They stood before the Savior. Stood before Jesus. And before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Do you hear that? So here you have a number. No man can number. No man can That's the body of Christ. 
Hey man, because there is no specific amount. Lies. We just proved that. All right, the Lord only came to save the Israelites. The children of Israel, more importantly, the elect. Okay? Those are the ones who's going to get it to be able to understand this doctrine. That's given in the Bible of those that are coming the first resurrection. That's right. So he struck out over and over and over again. He said the Holy Ghost just came upon him and that was in him. And the Bible contradict that. He said Jesus never preached of him. This guy contradicts himself. All right, the Bible never contradicts. The, the scriptures never contradicts itself. Self, and Jesus contradicted that personally. Personally. Uh, he said when you sin, you don't sin against God. And the Bible said against God only, only have I sinned. Past I sin. So again, I said, come back to Bible. That's right. Everybody. Come back to Bible. That's right. I don't care nothing about custom or tradition. You black Jews, that's hanging on your blackness. That's right. As if. See? That's what this guy tried to make it about. Color, skin color. It's not about skin color. All right? Real quick. We finna close it out because the point has been proven. This guy's a false prophet coming with wayward doctrine that was taught to him in those cemetery schools, right? <laughs> that Renaissance Christianity, right? With no understanding. Second Ezra. And he reads out the apocrypha. Why didn't he go get this? It says the same thing, right? We're in a different way. Let's read it. Second Ezra chapter six, excuse me, chapter two. And hmm, yeah, let's start at verse 34. And therefore I say unto you, O ye heathen that hear and understand. Who are the heathen that hear and understand? The Israelite foreigners that have been scattered abroad. See that? Look for your shepherd. He shall give you everlasting rest. For he is not at hand that shall come in the end of the world. See that? Be ready to the reward of the kingdom. Who is the kingdom of heaven for the Israelites, man? Let's prove that. We're going to come right back. X. Right? X 1. And let's see. Yep. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Well, hold up. I thought the kingdom was for everybody, Geno Genesis. They plainly say they asked the disciples, asked the Lord, was he going to restore the kingdom to Israel? Right? Second Ezra 2 and 34. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom, see? For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. And this guy's plainly in darkness. He's ignorant. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. O receive the gift that is given you and be glad, giving thanks unto him that have led you to the heavenly kingdom. Right? Arise up and stand. That's what you're seeing. We're rising up on our feet, standing upon our feet, and nations are in fear. Right? Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. See that? Which have departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Yeah, this is truth, man. This is going to manifest into new bodies. Right? Take that number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine. See, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white and have fulfilled the law of the Lord. You see that? Real quick. Can we read this? It says, let's go to 79. It said clothed in white, right? The symbolism of this truth is only for the Israelites. 
See? Where it says clothed in white robes. See? Clothed in white robes. And palms in their hands. Again, it's palms symbolizing uh, the victory. Lord giving us the victory, right? It says, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. But seek the power of the Lord, that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, see, thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, see that, at a numeral multitude, and they all praised the Lord with songs. See? So that innumerable multitude are all Israelites. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of the heads he set crowns, which I, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly, see? So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that, put, that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashiach Now are they crowned and receive palms, see? Receive the victory. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crown of them and give of them and crown of them and give of them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. See that? Then began I greatly to commend them which stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. All Israelites, man. That's who the service was given to, Romans 9. Go read it. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way and tell thy people what manner of things and how great wonders the Lord thy power have, excuse me, the Lord thy power thou hast seen, see? That's plain, man. This guy clearly is a false prophet and don't have understanding. That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, come next you with another lesson. Till the next time, I say shalom. On.